it feels like, and I've been in this situation, um, it feels like more of an interrogation than it does an interview. Yes. And, and, and I think that that's a really negative way to start. Yes. Because that puts the client on edge for one thing, because they're sitting there going, wow, they're asking, you know, am I, they, so I'm doing something wrong or something, you know, and, yeah. and, um, you know, and, and when you put the client on edge, mm-hmm. especially if there's a husband wife team, yes. um, you, pardon the expression, you piss off the, the wife, then yes. you, here comes the husband, you know, like, yeah. so I have to, um, Sometimes I get a little aggressive with my questioning, especially especially if I walk into a situation and the situation is already tense, as you were talking about yep. these people arguing, and they are trying to hide that fact that they're yes. arguing from you. Mm-hmm. And you can just, the, the whole room is just sloppy, full of, yes. of negative energy. And, and, I mean, I agree with, you know, like you were talking about, just tell a joke and stuff, but mm-hmm. we, one of our, last year, one of our investigations, um, when we walked in, uh, you could tell that they had just had an argument and was because the lady contacted us mm-hmm. and wanted us to come in and check out their situation. Mm-hmm. And, um, and of course, we found out there was some negative stuff going on, but most of what was happening was the dad, mm-hmm. and or yeah. the stepdad rather. Yeah. And um, he was doing things he hadn't ought to, and and um, he was really aggressive towards his family and and mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah. And we, it turned out to be. Not so paranormal, but um, kind of uh, kind of uh, something that counselors need to be called in. I'm, yes. I'm trying not to go in any details, and um, you know, like and, the and domestic we recommended that. Yes, and we recommended that. You know, we we when we went back and told them, you know, hey, we did get a couple of EVPs and stuff like that, but I think that was more residual than it was anything that was pertaining to what was going on there. Yeah, and and we we even supplied them with names of counselors. We um, you know advised them they needed to get in church, mm-hmm. and and we even recommended churches and things like that. Of course, I know everybody has their own uh, religious idea yeah. and mm-hmm. their own ideas of what's a good church. Okay, that's right. And I'm going to give them my idea, and I let them know, hey, this is my preference or this is yeah. my idea mm-hmm. um but you need to get in church you need That's to right. get with god you need to pray pray as a family yeah and those are the things that we kind of go into and and try to implement with our clients and even if it turns out that there is some paranormal stuff going on we especially get them into praying as a family, going to church, and even the counseling. Um, That's right. Because a lot of times counseling will help uh, deal with what's going on, and nobody has to even go in and rile up the spirits, if you will. That, and, uh, that's right. So um, I, I just assume, um, and you know what happens when you assume, but I just mm-hmm. assume that most groups fall into that same category. You know, when, when, uh, when you say that, um, the first word that comes to my mind is ill, is, is, is ill prepared. You, right. um, um, sometimes people will just um, mesh a group together, you know, and claim, oh, oh we're the paranormal society of this or the ghost hunters of this, you know. But then that goes to the, that goes to the same question. You know, with um, with you would have to ask a demonologist who who trained you. You know, I'm a I'm a firm believer that um, when you do paranormal stuff, you, you know, you you got to do your homework first. Yes. Um, you know, you got to do your homework first because you can't just read a book. Oh, I'm a ghost hunter. You know, I'm putting all this together. Slap a team together and let's go on some ghosts. It does not work that way. Period. 
You know, you have to uh, this me this me being really, really stringent upon this. You know, um, but 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 um, I have to ask um how how are you trying to be a paranormal investigator? You know, um, um, you know, and you can find out a lot just by that one question. Well, if if somebody says, "Well, I read a book," oh, okay, I'm worried. <laughs> you know, exactly. but but if you've done your homework, I mean, really studied it first and know what you're getting into, then you're gonna be okay. You know, but you got these fly by night groups that just read a book. I'm a ghost hunter. I'm a paranormal investigator. Hey, 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 buddy, you want to come be my co-founder? Sure, why not? You know, this guy don't know anything about ghosts from from a can of beans. You know, and and oh, let's go hunt some ghosts. Doesn't you know, work. when when Teresa and I, and and I'll tell anybody out there, mm -hmm. um, don't answer a Craigslist ad that's looking for paranormal investigators. No, absolutely not. <laughs> um, we messed up and did that. Did that. Um, in fact, I was at work and Teresa texted me and said, look at this. Because we had talked about um, maybe trying to find a team around. And mm -hmm. here in this part of the state, there was no organized teams that, well, we found out later there was one in Enterprise or still is. They're a great group of people. They work with us all the time. Yeah. But the team or the guy that put the ad out, we got with him, and um, he says, okay, y'all are on the team. And the first thing he does is um, set us up a little investigation out at an old abandoned burnout church. Yeah. And, um, you know, he, we go out. He sets up the DVR, and um, then he says, okay, y'all go to it. And mm -hmm. uh, I look at Teresa, and I said, okay, what we're going to go do? <laughs> and, uh, I said we can go out here and, and, and talk in the woods if we want and stuff like that but um, you know he sat just kind of watching us and stuff and I said okay maybe this is not so odd maybe this is you know because it just bugged me the way mm -hmm. he was doing it yeah. and um, so he, uh, he he called it a training yeah he says, this is where we I take all my, my people. And I said, okay. I said, well, how long have you been doing this? And uh, he says, about six months. Oh, my gosh. And I said, six months? <laughs> oh. says, yeah, yeah. We've got all kinds of uh, uh, evidence and stuff like that. And, and so. Are they orbs? <laughs> well, I'm going to get to that. Hold on just a second. <laughs> we, uh, so I was like. Told Teresa, I said, okay, well, let's try to make the best of this and see if we can't make things better. Yeah. And um, um, so uh, the, some friends of mine live in Cottonwood, Alabama, mm -hmm. and they had a restaurant there. And the lady used to come in to the market where I was working at, and, and she just happened to – we were talking about things, and – and she says, do y'all do that investigation stuff? And I said, actually, we do. Yeah. And um, she says, well, I'd like you to come investigate my restaurant because there's strange things that happen. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Well, I'll talk with the, the leader of the group. And I did. And then he says, all right, set it up. So uh, we set it up. This place is in business now, right? Okay. Yeah. We go and uh, patronize a place. We eat supper. And um, while we're eating supper, now, mind you, this place is a, like a house yeah. and converted to a restaurant. And there's 50 people in this thing. OK. Yeah. And, you know, it's you got to suck your stomach in when you walk between two chairs. It's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're sitting there eating and everybody... When we walked in, everybody's like, oh, there's the Ghostbusters. Oh. And they were coming up to us and asking, are y'all going to be hunting these ghosts here tonight? I know they are. Oh, my goodness. And I'm looking at Teresa and, well, I'm not going to say the man's name. You know, I give mm -hmm. him that respect. Yeah. He's sitting across from me. And now these people, has, they have hats all on the walls. It's a nostalgic type thing. Yeah. And 
Well, one of the hats has happens to fall off. Mm. Well, this guy stands up in the middle of the restaurant and said, that damn hat fell off the wall or jumped off the wall or something. Oh, my gosh. And I'm sitting here going, oh, my Lord. <laughs> going to run us out of this place, you know. Uh-huh. Now, I know the owner, and he is a police officer. Uh-huh. And he comes up behind me, and he touches me on the shoulder, and he speaks to us, you know, and, and he says, y'all just kind of keep it down. I don't want to scare anybody off. Yeah. And, and I told him, I said, it won't happen again like that. And uh, he said, oh, no, no, no problem. So we get in there. After everybody leaves, they clean up the joint. We set up. We start investigating. Well, I'm mm-hmm. listening to this lead, okay? Yeah. I'm doing... Because he told me this was his word for word. He says, you do like I tell you, and I'll teach you everything you need to know about the paranormal. Well, I said, okay, sure. It's like, good luck. (laughs) I'll do what you say, you know, as long as I don't get hurt or somebody else around you. So he tells me, go do this, and go do that. And he's got cameras set up and, and so on and so forth. And all night long, we're... He's running around like there's things moving and, you know, creatures crawling up the walls and and things like that, you know. Yeah. Well, to make a long story short, we we finally got through. We left, you know, packed up and left. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. The next day, he he sends me a text message, and he says, I need you and Teresa to come by the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so when we get off, when I get off work, I'll run pick her up and... Uh, he says, I'll cook her something at the house. Y'all come on by the house as soon as you can. Oh, oh so, free meal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so here we go. We we go over there, and um, he, they've got a big spread laid out, you know, supper and stuff. And we're eating. He says, I want y'all to know we caught some good evidence. Oh. I'm like, okay, I got to see this, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're excited. Yeah, I was like. Well, actually, I wasn't. I'm thinking to myself, this is this trap right here. <laughs> um, because there wasn't anything that happened, you know, yeah. while we were there, not that I would call. Mm-hmm. But he says, I want you to watch this video. And then all of a sudden, out of the ceiling comes the biggest ball of dust you ever wanted to see in your <laughs> life. And it just kind of rolled down in slow motion to the floor yeah. and just kind of disappeared into the floor. And he said, did you see that spirit manifest right there? And I'm thinking to myself, oh, my Lord Jesus. <laughs> you know, as blind as I am, um, I could tell that was dust. That's right. <laughs> and... and um, Somebody told me one time, you know, spirits don't like you calling them dust. Mm-hmm. But this went on and on and on. Mm-hmm. And then finally, I told Teresa one day, I said, look, I said, this uh, th- this other paranormal stuff is not, not happening right. Yeah. Because this guy is going and chastising these all these investigations. He's trying to draw things out and make yeah. things negative for everybody. And the biggest thing was he was intoxicated the whole time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and, and we found that out a little bit later. And when we did find that out, Teresa come to me and, and she asked me, she says, what are we going to do? Are we just going to let this go and just not do this stuff anymore? And I said, you know something? I said, this guy is running around out there masquerading to help people. That's right. Um, we need to start a group that actually is going to help people. That's right. Um, that's ultimately why we started our group. Mm-hmm. And from that moment on, I talked with people. I got people to teach me. Um, yeah. And I'm talking about people that's respected. You know, I started yes. first, and it kind of seemed like I was begging. But maybe I was, you know, Um, but I got my point across. I want to learn the ways to do this Mm -hmm. 
and I had to be really careful because of my background. That's right. Uh, 